My pre-party ritual would be listening to a bunch of music and don't judge me, but planning my exit strategy. Oh gosh, dinner party conversation starters. How good is this food, right? Yeah, this she took forever in the kitchen. It was amazing. What's your favorite um, holiday dish to make? You know what? I actually can do small talk. I'm pretty good at small talk. Holiday outfit must-haves. Cozy sweaters, comfy pants in case you eat too much. I think that's probably a necessity. A little bit of pizzazz, maybe like a little bit of sparkle. Three songs that'll get me on the dance floor. Britney Spears, baby one more time. Spice Girls Wannabe, such a classic. Shania Twain's Man I Feel Like a Woman, which I ironically used as an audition for a school play once. New Year's Eve fail-safe outfit, comfy shoes, must have. You can bring the heels, bring a flat. You don't want to regret wearing the heels and staying out late because you don't have something comfortable to wear because I'm telling you, once you have a comfy shoe on, you can be out all night long. Best holiday song, Santa Baby? <laughs> Who do I call to have fun? Ashley Park. My co-star in Emily in Paris and also one of my closest girlfriends. FaceTime, call, voice memo, whatever it is, you know that she's gonna have fun. Is there a holiday memory that I love? I just remember growing up in England and in America, the holidays were drastically different in terms of temperature as well as just kind of the overall feel. But when I was probably around 10 to 12 every Christmas day, I would go in my Christmas PJs with my mom to the beach in LA and that felt so foreign to me. It was such a weird concept when it was supposed to be cold outside but going to the beach and then we would go to the Laker game on Christmas day. It was always such a fun tradition, something I always looked forward to. Happy holidays.